I could lose my heart tonight If you don't turn and walk away Cause the way I feel I might Lose control and let you stay Cause I could kick you in my arms and never let go I could fall in love with you I could fall in love <laughs> oh my god. I look so crazy. I can't even continue that. <gasps> Best friend, I've taken it too far this time, bitch. I'm celebrating because we got 74. What 74k messy besties? <gasps> Welcome back to my channel. Ideal meal. If you are still here. Girl, you are, give yourself a fucking pat on the back, bitch, because I don't know if I could, listen, I don't know if I would be able to, bitch, I mean, it's a lot, it's a lot, like, sometimes when I edit my videos, I'm like, girl, who is that? Anyways, welcome back to my channel, if you are new, my name is Sebastian, and I spill pop culture tea every single day, honey, so listen, I'm just celebrating because we got to 74,000 messy besties. And I just thought, you know what, girl? Let me give them a little bit of a show because I know that's what you guys like. But anyways, welcome back to my channel. Um, I spill pop culture tea every day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend who is also a chismosa, you come to the right place, bitch. Anyways, girl, listen. Oh, my lips don't look cute without lip gloss, girl. Just put a little... These are... This one is just like a little bit, but, you know, I had to go in there for the Selena part. Or the J-Lo Selena part. Anyways, best friend. Is Jennifer Lopez broke? Girl, we got to talk about it. So, listen. Um... I have to tell you something, best friend, okay? Now, there are a lot of reports that allegedly uh, Jennifer Lopez is having some financial in, uh, troubles, allegedly, okay? Because, of course, her canceled tour, the selling of the house, her crazy, you know, spending habits, allegedly, and all the above, bitch, okay? And that's why, allegedly, she flew commercial. So I saw a lot of your guys' comments that said that that was a business flight, that that was not a commercial flight, but then every single media outlet is saying that it is a commercial flight. She was just traveling in business class. Now, a lot of people, including myself, I'm like, girl, it is not relatable to fly commercial anymore because that's like a thing of really people with money, right? Like, best friend, it is expensive to travel, although I will say my husband, he has so many, so many trips and tips for you guys um, if you want to travel on the cheap. So let me know if you guys want me to tell him to do a video about it because, girl, I don't know. Sometimes he gets us really, really, really cheap tickets. Speaking about my husband, today is our nine-year wedding anniversary, which is so insane for me to even, like, say that because, like, damn, nine years together, best friend. I'm so grateful and thankful. Um, I just stained my couch. Great. He's going to... He's not, thank God it's our anniversary, bitch, because he, I think he would be fucking pissed off. But this thing just, it's a little, a little dot, a little dot, but I could see it and that really annoys me. But I'm going to get the cleaner and then we'll do, you know, we'll clean it. Uh, anyways, listen, best friend. So if JLo flew commercial, does that make her broke? No, best friend. I don't believe it fucking does, okay? I just think it makes her try to want to see more relatable, you know? And that is what I think her team is, is scrambling to do, right? I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to make her seem more human. Now, um, what's her name on The View? One of The View hosts, um, I forgot her name. I want to say Sunshine, but I know it's not Sunshine. It's like it's like sunny. It's something like that. It's, oh, she's my favorite on The View. I forgot her name, man. But anyways, she says that J-Lo is trying to be more human-like, you know, and that they're trying to humanize her a little bit so she can, you know, be more relatable, right? And, like, I get that to a certain degree, but, like, it is more... It is more fake to think that Jennifer Lopez needs to fly a commercial flight because she wants to save money or help the environment. It is more believable 
you know, that she's trying to save her reputation and seem more relatable more than she needs to fly commercial. Do you know what I mean? Like, we know for a fact that she does not need to. We know for a fact that she could perfectly fly a private jet. And we also know uh, for a fact that, you know, it seems like she's just doing it to, to fucking, you know, get this attention and to make her seem more human. I would have, I, listen, if, if, if she wants me to think that she's more human and, and likable and relatable, you know what she should have done? You guys know that Live Nation has this clause in their contracts that if a tour gets canceled due to low ticket sales, the artist still gets, I think it's like 10%. So allegedly she walked away with $2.5 million from the canceled tour that Ticketmaster already gave her in the advance of the 10 million. You know what would have been real cool if she would have gotten that 2.5 million and donated to the Bronx. You know what I mean? And 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 donated to the schools or donated to homeless shelters or donated to whatever, right? That would have been real fucking cool. She sings about the Bronx so much that she should fucking give back. Had she fucking done that, I would have been like, you know what, girl? That's fucking cool. Like that is so cool. And maybe not do it so publicly, but then get it leaked, you know, and have somebody who works in these places say, you know, Jennifer Lopez just donated $2.5 million. It would have gone viral and she would have gotten all the props but her team does everything the opposite it's sort of like they want her to get canceled you know and do i think she's having financial difficulties i don't think jennifer lopez is worth a lot of money whether you like her or not uh, you know netflix pays her really well you know she whether or not she's successful right now doesn't mean she hasn't been successful jennifer lopez was a very 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 successful entrepreneur. She was one of the first entrepreneurs. That's how she is um, claimed online for having the perfumes and the this and the that. So I just feel like, you know, you can't expect her to be broke because she's not broke. This is why you should not lick your balls because you get hair stuck in your damn throat. My chihuahua. Um, anyways, so, you know, she, she has a lot of money. Her net worth is almost $300 million. You know what I mean? So I don't think that there's any financial difficulties. I do think that people mistake her selling her home or having her tour canceled, flying commercial that she is broke. I just think that she's flying commercial to seem more relatable. And I think that her team is trying to humanize her a little bit more. But what they did was they just see, they just showed the, desper the desperateness coming from their team and their brand wanting her to be liked again. That's what I got to think about that. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I just really, really, really want to say once again, thank you guys so much for 74K. I have been doing this for almost nine years, right? Is it nine years? Almost eight years. No, almost eight years I've been doing a YouTube. So I feel so incredibly thankful and grateful. I don't take it for granted at all. And I just really, 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 really want to say thank you so much. And girl, I got to get back to the recording studio because um, my, 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 uh, Girl, it, it's expensive to, to record, and so I gotta I gotta go back. Okay, that's fine. Do you guys want to stick around for a little bit? Okay, good. Um, let me just. Are you guys ready? Okay. Con siempre estoy soñando contigo. Besando mis labios, acariciando mi piel, abrazándome con ansias, imaginando que me amas como yo podía amar a ti. So I should keep this to myself and never. I could fall in love with you. I could fall in love with you, baby. I could fall in love. I could fall in love. With you, baby, I could fall in love. Damn it. Can I be honest, girl? 
It pains me to listen to Selena and what could have been her fucking career. Like, jokes aside and the, the Jennifer Lopez recording studio of it all, what a fucking talent Selena was, man. Fucking Yolanda y mierda, hijo de puta, desgraciada. Seriously. Anyways, girl, I gotta go. I gotta go, girl. This has been too much, bitch. This, this has been too much. You guys are making me too much. But I love every second of it. Bye.